how surprised were you to get the news on Monday night about what the league ruling was and how surprised were you with the reason it was given? Uh, yeah, so obviously we got the ruling a little later on, what was it, Monday night? So um, I knew, we were kind of aware of it a little bit that they were looking into it, but, you know, just didn't think anything of it. And then when we heard of it, we just kind of took it for what it was. So really not much to it. Lost of practice and back at it today. You're a union rep, right? Yeah, now I am, yeah. What's, what was your role in any of this? Did you have conversations with? Uh, yeah, so our, our, our PA rep just kind of notified us, like, hey, we're looking in. Okay. Looking at, you know, they were at the earlier mini camps. They saw it, things like that. So just kind of notifying us. But in terms of us, like, playing a role in anything, like, we really don't have that much going on with that. So. Were you surprised, Cole? Were you surprised that this, that this happened? Like, that they thought it was too intense or you were making too much contact? Have you felt that? Ep- well, you got to look at our situation right now. We got a lot of young guys, right? Uh, new coach, you know, new everything. Um, and guys come, are coming in to prove themselves, and, and that's including me, you know? So when someone says, you know, you're going 100%, you're going 100%. And I'm not going to back down. You know, I'm not going to ease up anywhere because – First of all, I don't want to get hurt. You know, that's that's how you get hurt. You're not, you're not going 100%. And guys want to show what they got. So when you when you run that line and, you know, we don't have as many vets as we've had in years past, you know, just because naturally we're a younger team. So um, it's kind of just where we're at right now. You know, and, and guys are learning. I thought this past week and these past two practices we've had have been night and day much better than in terms of how guys have been practicing in terms of, you know, how to practice without pads on and things like that. So I think it's really just a thing that we're learning through. And. I guess it's just one of the consequences of it. Would, would it be fair to say that, it, generally speaking, the players were pleased that the, the practice was canceled or that they came down on you guys because they were protecting you guys? Yeah, I got the golf 18 holes yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. Cole, Cole, you said a PA rep is here. So is that a case where they see it or is somebody informing them? No, I, I know they make their rounds. So, you know, they, they stop by. Um, so yeah, so he was here, you know making their rounds, probably saw some stuff, requested film, things like that. So we really, like I said, we really don't, unless we have a serious issue with anything, we're not really going uh, to the reps with stuff. The things I think we complain the most about is when we're getting our money from, from the COVID year. So that's, that's all we hear about from us, but that, that's it. So from your perspective uh, as on the player side, I, when this happens, is, is this more of a result of what the coaches are asking you guys to do or more so the players just – maybe t- taking a little bit too far in practice? I, that's tough. I think, like like I said, we're going 100% and you're being asked to go 100%. And you want to show out for a new staff. And you got young guys and guys like me who want to stick around here and be around here. So we're, we're going. And I think, it, it, I think it's a balance. But I think as players, because I am a player, so I'll take it on myself, we got to learn as a group how to practice correctly, to take care of each other, keep guys off the ground and practice in a way that's beneficial for everybody, where we're able to go 100% full effort, which you can do in these things, but still keep everybody safe and everybody off the ground. Did you notice anything? I mean, I know that Coach Eberflew said that there were like a few plays from an earlier yeah. practice. Was there a moment like where you're like, maybe we towed the line, it was too intense? Like, was there anything that actually stood out of like specific plays to you that might have been the one? Yeah, I wouldn't say not where I was like, oh, no, we're going to lose a day of practice. You know what I mean? It just kind of, you see, like, oh, stay up. You know, guys are yelling, stay up, stay up. You know, everybody wants everybody healthy. That's you know, that's, that's the whole point of this. Everyone wants to get to training camp healthy, ready to roll. Um, you know, you use this time really to get down the playbook, kind of set, obviously, they're setting a the culture right now and things like that, and you kind of get familiar with everybody. But you, you want to get out of this thing safe and, you know, everybody ready to go for, uh, for training camp. So, um, you know, you see those plays and you just kind of let guys know. And like I said, I think since like day one uh, since of being here with the practices and to now, I think it's just been night and day with how we've been practicing. So. Setting a culture, have you noticed that these practices have been a little bit more no nonsense than it was previous seasons? Well, yeah, I mean, Coach Eberflus, you know, obviously with his his principles, like those are things that he talks about every day, hustling and you know taking care of the ball, all those things, intensity. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just the things that we stress. But you can do that with keeping guys off off the ground right now. You know, we can run to the ball, do all those things that are necessary, and and you know do it in a safe way. Uh, intensity and that kind of thing in May and April before then. Now, are you curious to see what training camp's going to look like? Uh, I, I think I got an idea. You know, I think when when we get pads on, it's 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 going to be full go. You know, and it's going to be we're going to be going at it, and I think it's going to be good for everybody. You know, but I mean, we're all getting we're, all, we're building up to that right now. So we're getting this break here soon, and 
it's going to be on everybody to, you know, take care of their bodies during this time and making sure they're staying in shape and ready to roll when, when day one comes around. Justin Fields' ownership of this offense is like, obviously much different now than it was yeah. a year ago. Mm -hmm. Is the difference noticeable? Yeah, I think I mentioned you guys last time just in the huddle. I think that's that, that's the biggest thing for me. And, um, you know, just the way he commands everybody on the field. You know, I think, you know, we were kind of running two minute this past couple of weeks. And um, he's just been great in terms of being vocal to everybody and, and you know, being demonstrative about what he wants from everybody. So it's been uh, – it's been fun to be a part of and fun to watch and, you know, exciting to keep growing on this going into training camp. What's Ryan Poles like during those practices? Is he, is he vocal with you guys or is he just observing? I think Ryan's just pretty observant. He said what's up to me today, talked a little bit, um, asked, you know, asked, asked each other how we were doing, things like that. But he's a pretty observant guy for the most part. But, you know, his door is always open. So if you want to go talk to him or you got issues or things you need to talk to him about, he's more than welcome to, to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Try not to get hurt. You're talking about practices that are, in some cases, five months before the season is going yeah. to start. Do you believe that OTAs philosophically are necessary? I, yeah, I do. I think it's 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 really good for the timing and the passing game and all those things. I mean, I'll be real. I I don't think the run game is as real. You know, you put pads on and someone gets hit in the mouth and hit in the chin and gets put to the ground. That's real football, right? You can't do that right now. So that's the run game aspect, maybe not so much. But I think in the passing game, you can get really good timing down and, and things like that and see how guys are moving and get timing with the quarterback. So I think in that regard, and for me, that's huge. So, yeah, I think that's a big deal at, at this time of the year. Cole, I know that you, since you guys aren't in pads, and telling like the reality of like what will work, what won't. Yeah. The run game, I mean, that's a physical element of it. Can you, can you start to tell like what – weight the run game is going to take off of Justin this year and the passing game and just how that's going to factor into the offense. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, like I said, it's it's hard to really do the run game, like how you want to do it and how, how it should be looking in a game right now without pads on. But you can see where this run game can go with the outside zone and, and things along that nature. So, uh, and the running backs that we got with David, Khalil, and, you know, all the other, other kids that we brought in. So, um, yeah, you, you can see where it can go, and obviously we're all really excited to get to camp so we can really you know, put the run game to the test and kind of start really building upon it. Cole, what is it about Luke's approach that has your offense sort of galvanized believing that this can be really explosive, not only in the north but in the entire league? Yeah, well, I think you see how, how it's worked across the league, this type of offense, and you see it, you know, I mentioned it before in San Francisco, Minnesota, and there's different ways to kind of go about it and, and how friendly it can be, you know, really for everybody across the board from the offensive line to running backs, uh, you know, tight ends and receivers. Uh, across the board, it can be really friendly. And I think everyone's kind of seeing that right now. Luke mentioned that he was going to talk to all the players and try and build this offense to everybody's strengths. Yeah. Have you had a moment to say, you know what, this is something I'm really good at that I'm really loving? Mm -hmm. Push for that. Well, I think you kind of see that in practice. So I think within the last, you know, two months we've been doing this, you kind of see I've been seeing, you know, I get more of this route, more of that route. You know, he's kind of starting to get a feel for what guys are good at and putting them in situations like, hey, I think he's, let's see this again. Let's do it again. Let's do this again. You know, so you're starting to see guys kind of form, form into that role. Um, so, yeah, you definitely see that, and I think that's encouraging, you know, going into training camp where we're going to continue to keep building on that. Shot at 86 yesterday at Royal Melbourne. Pretty tight course over there, but uh, I'll take it. I will take it.